Hey everyone, today we're going to be doing a new to pro introduce to infinite as my toe. So yeah, let's get straight into the video. So first thing first guys, we do need to go ahead and buy a new character slot. So here we go, let's spend 99 Robux. And there we go, we have purchased a new character slot. So let's go ahead on slot 10 and then let's go to customize. And yeah, let's start spending for my toes and eight. Oh my god, oh my god, we finally got so manipulation. Bro, bro, I did 3,000 spins. I've been spinning for 25 minutes straight, man. Bro, this felt like hell, man, but oh my god. The Lords have blessed us, we finally got in it. I was so convinced that I was gonna run out of spins because I did not want to spend Robux for 500 spins, bro. But yeah, let's go ahead and finish, guys. So here we are, guys. As you can see, we are Mahito, and yeah, we are looking drippy. All right, guys, unfortunately, my recording file did get corrupted, so yeah, that's a shame. But basically, all we did, guys, was uh, I did deliver the crate, and I basically showed our first goal, which was called the phone fist but we are level 60 now guys so we can actually promote our grade so yeah if we talk with the tuber guys and click on promote as you can see we can promote ourselves to a grateful sorcerer so let's click on promote and yeah here we go guys we are being promoted to a grateful sorcerer now so as you can see above we did get the three usual items so let's go ahead and equip all of them so let's press equip best gear there we go and now let's go ahead and turn the vanity off and there we go guys we have turned the vanity off now also if we go over to skills and innate we can get the next skill which is called blade rush so so this costs mastery 50 and is 4.5k cash let's purchase that nice so let's go ahead and put that to x there we go and we can actually put 138 stat points into technique nice there we go so let's go ahead and kill a curse user let's go ahead and teleport now yeah as i said earlier my recording file did crash so i'm going to showcase the first move again so let's go ahead and use that first so the first skill is called the formed fist so let's go ahead and use it block and one and one let's use it yeah, there you go. So it looks like it swings around the arm and then it slams it back down. So it does two hits. Uh, the cooldown is kind of short. It's like 20 seconds, something like that. So it's not bad. But let's go ahead and use Bade Rush. Oh, okay. So it looks like I have to actually aim that move. I couldn't see how much damage it does, but it looks like it does multiple hits. Sort of like a barrage. Let's use Bade Rush again. Okay, let's use it. Okay, it does like 8 hits. Yeah, I can't really tell the damage. It's kind of hard to say the specific amount. But it looks like a very good move because it does have a little bit of movement as well. And I could on this very short as well. It's also 20 seconds. And there we go, guys. We have killed the curse user. Let's see what we get from the chest. And we got nothing good. But yeah, let's go ahead and teleport back now. But yeah, guys, if we go over to sheep and click a promote, we do need to be level 120 to promote our grade. And if we go over to skills, our next skill is called uh, Soul Touch. So we need mastery 100 for that and 25,000 cash. So yeah, that shouldn't take us too long to get. So yeah, I'll be right back once I've met those requirements. Alright guys, so we are level 120 now. So if we go over to Shiba guys, we can promote our grade. So here we go guys, we are a grade 3 sorcerer now. And as you can see above, we did get the alignment beats and the slaughter demon. And we are going to be selling the slaughter demon because we don't have a weapon. So there we go, we have got 250k cash from that. And as for the alignment beats, we do need to be level 150 to use that. So we can't use that just yet. But guys, we can put 180 stat points into technique. But there we go. So we should be doing a lot of damage now. And if we go to skills and innates, guys, we can get our next skill, which is called uh, Soul Touch. So this costs 100 mastery and 25k cash. So let's go ahead and purchase that. Nice. There we go. And yeah, let's equip that to C. All right. So now let's go ahead and kill a curse user. There we go. Let's teleport. All right. So here we are, guys. Let's rush. M1, 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 let's use it. Oh, okay, yo, that did 200 damage. So it looks like I touched the heart and then like I squish it or something. And yeah, that did like 200 damage, something like that. I'm not sure if it combo extends. Let's go ahead and use it again. And when I'm, I'm gonna use it. Yeah, like I grabbed the heart or something. Oh, and those combo extend as well. That's nice. The only downside about that is that you have to be very, very close to use it. But it does combo extends. And it has a very short cooldown as well. It's like 10 seconds. That's actually a good move. What the hell? I can literally use it again. There we go. Nice. Yeah, that's a sick move. I'm actually liking my hero. Yeah, but overall, it's not a bad move. It has a very short cooldown. It does combo extend. The only downside is that you have to be very close. And it does decent damage as well. But there we go, guys. We have killed the curse user. So let's 
let's see what we get from this chest and we got nothing good let's go ahead and teleport back though so if we go to shiba again guys and click a promote uh we do need to be level 180 to promote our grade and if we go to skills and innates guys our next skill is called flesh drill so we need 150 mastery and 100k cash for that so yeah that shouldn't take us too long as well so yeah i'll be right back all right guys so i am level 180 now so if we go to shiba guys and click a promote as you can see we can promote to a great two sorcerer so there we go guys we are being promoted and we did get the hay and error pants above so here are the pants guys let's equip that and let's turn the vanity off there we go now we are level 180 so we can put 180 stat points into technique there we go and if we go over to skills and innates guys we can't get our next skill which is called soul manipulation flesh drill yeah there we go guys we have unlocked it let's go ahead and put that to v nice all right now let's go ahead and kill a curse user so let's teleport okay so here we are let's go ahead and use the move let's rush and when i'm and let's use it okay oh wow so it's like a long range move that pulls them back in and you can combo extend off it it does like a, a hundred damage something like that let's go ahead and use it again and when m1 yeah i can boom pull him in and then i can combo extend just like that yeah that's a good move the cooldown is like 25 seconds so it is kind of long it's not that long though but it's actually broken because it's a long range move that combo extends like that's that's broken but yeah we did die there guys because uh we don't have that much hp but yeah not a bad move that's actually very broken but yeah guys if you go to shiba and click on promote we do need to be level 242 promote to our next grade and our next skill is called uh distorted inflation so we need mastery 200 and it costs 500k cash but yeah one thing i noticed about maito is that he has a lot of moves i just counted all of them and he has eight moves in total so yeah that's a lot so that is going to be a little bit expensive but i do have the money for that so yeah but yeah guys i cut back to our ranked up all right guys so we are level 230 now so we can't promote just yet but if we go to skills and innates guys we can get our next skill which is called distorted inflation so let's purchase this for 400k cash there we go we have unlocked it and yeah let's go ahead and equip that to b nice and we can put two stat points into technique and let's go ahead and put the rest into hp there we go but yeah guys let's go ahead and kill a curse user let's teleport okay let's block and my number and let's use it okay i'm not sure what that did maybe i missed it oh my god it has a long cooldown it's 90 seconds i think i missed it or something let's wait for the cooldown then i use it again all right guys so the cooldown is back now so let's block and just use it i'm not sure what that does is that like an evasive i think it made me jump backwards or something i'm pretty sure that's what it does if i am right then it is like an evasive so like if you're getting comboed or something you use that move and yeah you can escape the combo you can basically save yourself i guess that's why the cooldown is long because if you could use that like every 20 seconds then yeah that's that's stupid because then you literally would not be able to die but yeah that's actually a very good move though especially if you're fighting someone like toji who does like a lot of damage if he's about to like combo you or something you can just escape that you can escape with your life but yeah that explains why he has a long cooldown obviously the long cooldown is a bit bad but yeah it is justifiable like if you're using it against a regular mob like the one i just did it against then it's not the greatest but if you're doing it against toji then that move could actually save your life that move could be the difference between winning or losing but yeah guys i am only 10 levels away from being able to promote my grade so yeah i'll be back because i'm level 240 all right guys so uh my recording file did get corrupted again but nothing too important happened uh i am level 240 now and i did upgrade to a uh, grade one but yeah we have gotten our next skill which is called a uh, polymorphic soul isomer so yeah i'm gonna quickly showcase that so basically all this move does is it does summon a minion so there we go i did summon this white thingy over here and basically what he's gonna do he's just gonna attack for me and fight the mobs for me like he's doing damage and everything yo he's piecing him up he's got him in a whole combo yo he's doing a whole air combo oh damn but yeah the cooldown is around like 40 second ish so it is kind of long oh it looks like he also spawned his own clone the only downside is that the hp of the clone is very low so yeah it's easily killable but yeah, you see how he tried to rush at me just then? My clone did stop by uh, rushing him instead. So your clone can actually save you sometimes. But yeah, I can literally spawn my clone in again. So depending on when your clone dies, you can infinitely spawn it. So yeah, not bad. But this clone would be very effective in ranked against another player. Because you can literally make them uh, buy a 2v1. And yeah, they'll obviously be at a disadvantage. And there we go, guys. We have killed the clone shooter now. Let's see what we get from this chest. Yeah, we never get anything good from these chests. 
We're actually so unlucky. I don't think I've ever got anything good in all of my videos. But if we go up to Shiba, guys, and click a promote, we do need to be level 300 to become a special grade sorcerer. And our next skill does cost 300 mastery and 800k cash. And it is called Body of Distorted Killing. So we do need to go ahead and get that. So yeah, guys, I'm going to quickly get the suit and the finger. And I'll be right back once I'm level 300. Alright, guys, I am level 300 now. So if we go to stats, guys, I can put 180 stat points into HP. There we go. And if we go to the Shiba, guys, and click on promote we are finally a special grade sorcerer so here we go guys we are being promoted and we did get the three items above so yeah let's go ahead and equip best there we go and let's go ahead and turn the vanity off nice but yeah guys if we go to skills and innate we can get our next skill which is called body of distorted killing so let's go ahead and purchase this there we go and let's put that to t nice now let's go ahead and kill a curse user so let's teleport now i'm pretty sure this is the skill that buffs you you're going like uh, a little transformation so first we are going to be using the form fist and then we're going to use the transformation and see if it does any damage increase so let's use the form fist so that did 990.6 let's go ahead and do the transformation now yeah i was right it was a transformation oh yo we look clean hold on this is the thing that uh he used against itadori oh shit okay let's wait for the cooldown but yeah this looks very clean our cooldown is like 90 seconds but it is kind of long but yeah let's go ahead and use it now yeah that did 1500 that's a lot more holy and you're in this form for quite a while as well yeah not bad man and i just realized it's also gonna buff our clones so our clones are gonna do so much more damage as well so we're probably gonna be able to infinitely use it but there we go guys we have got the curse user but yeah look at us man we look so clean damn my clothes cold with it but yeah let's see what we get from these chests and we got nothing good let's go ahead and teleport back though all right guys so we do need 50 more levels to reach max level and our last skill is going to be our domain which is called self embodiment of perfection so yeah i'll be right back once i met those requirements all right guys so we are level 350 now so if we go to the stats guys we can put 50 stat points into energy and we can put 100 into hp nice so we have maxed out our stats but yeah guys if we go up to shiba we can learn domain training so let's click on the main expansion and yeah we are going to be offering 20 sukuna fingers and one mil and there we go guys we have obtained the main expansion now we go to skills and in this, guys we can purchase self embodiment of perfection there we go so we have unlocked mahito's domain now so yeah let's go ahead and put that to y nice so yeah i'm going to quickly showcase it and then we are going to be fine toji so yeah let's go ahead and kill a band of curse users so let's teleport all right so we yeah we're gonna have to be fighting five of these so we might die hopefully that's not the case though block m1 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 perform fist slam it down and when i with soul touch oh wait we already have our domain meter what the hell okay perfect um yeah let's go ahead and use it because i didn't get everyone but oh the animation hold on yo this is sick the hands and everything is actually sick damn so i believe in this domain i have the show here effect so if i press soul touch but yeah, if I press soul touch, even though I'm not close to them, as you can see, I did hit them, even though I was nowhere close to them. So yeah, that's so broken. And obviously, we do have the domain buffs already, so we do more damage, stuff like that. And when I hit them, as you can see, his body is distorted. There's like these little blobs coming from his body. Yeah, yeah, you can look at him right there. The guy with the red hair, look at his body. And that basically just makes me do more damage and stuff like that. But yeah, let's quickly kill this. So we are going to transform now. Oh yeah, I just realized I could have transformed and I've done my domain. Oh, I would be doing so much damage. But yeah, let's go ahead and quickly kill these guys. Yeah, we do so much damage. But yeah, if you guys didn't know what the domain does, basically... I can use my skill which is called soul touch anywhere inside the domain so basically normally i'd have to end one like this and use soul touch and i grab their heart but in my domain i can use it anywhere and i can still grab their heart and i can grab multiple people's heart as well so yeah and i also do get the domain buffs as well so yeah it's actually very broken that means at least you can't block against it like i'm guaranteed to hit them okay it looks like i ran out of time to kill them so they did despawn but yeah let's go ahead and teleport back guys all right guys so we are going to be doing the toji raid looks like we have to wait 13 more minutes for it to spawn and then that's going to be it for the video so yeah i'll be right back once i can do the raid all right guys so the toji raid did just spawn in 
So yeah, let's go ahead and do it. All right, guys. So we have spawned in. So I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna use our transformation and our domain at the same time, so that we can do the most damage possible. But yeah, let's go ahead and spawn the boss. There we go. So let's rush. Oh yeah, I forgot he always uses blitz. Let's block. And when I'm, I want the pump fist. And when I'm, I'm a soul touch. Let's knock him back. Pestrel, bring him back in. Oh, he blocked it. Yeah, let's go ahead and use blade rush. Oh, never mind. He's using super senses, so we can't hit him. Let's block. Still can't hear him, still- okay. Let's get out that combo. Yeah, that move is so good for getting out of combos. Okay, let's rush. Let's do soul touch. Nice, grab that heart. Give me that. Oh, he did evasive it out. Let's block. Oh no. Okay, let's use the form fist. Yo, he's doing a lot that- Hey, yo! Hey, yo, he did chill. Suck him back, flesh drill. There we go, we got our main. Let's use it, now. Nah. All right, so using our domain. Oh, this animation is so cold, man. It just fits Maito's character so much. It's just well made. All right, let's, uh, let's transform. There we go. So now we're going to do so much damage. Wait, why is he? Wait, what? Okay, let's go ahead and spawn our clone in for extra support. Come on. Uh, clone, clone, help me. Yo, I think we're going to die. Okay, let's soul touch. Let's rush. Let's do blade dance. There we go. Let's do the form fist. Oh, no, you can't. Yo, I'm actually going to die. What the hell? Um, Let's do flesh drill. Pulling him in. Knock him back. Soul touch again. And when I'm, I'm going to knock him back. Okay, I'll do main finish. Yeah, we're done. Oh, my God was stunned no yeah ggs man if only we had like reverse curse technique but then again Mito doesn't have that but yeah uh we did get cooked there guys it was to be expected to be honest because we did not have reverse curse technique but yeah our damage output was actually strong to be fair it's just our hp was the issue but yeah that's gonna be it for today's video i do want to apologize for the inconsistency i know i haven't been posting a lot but i am in exam season so that's why i have been very very busy but my exam are gonna finish in like three weeks or two weeks so after that i will be consistent but yeah that's gonna be it for today lads and yeah peace out